Man, it feels good to be back. Hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving, and this new request comes from Skier, or Skyer, well, one or the other, I'm sure. And he wants to know how to get the AI to join the player team after you kill them. I figured this out in about 10 minutes, and at first I thought it would have to be the whole squad, but it doesn't. This can be individual. This is only for campaign and firefight maps, though, as it is centered around single player slash single team game modes. Not exactly for PvP. But let's get cooking. Okay, for map setup, it's just setting up spawners. Uh, and that's really d depending on you where you want them to spawn at when they join your team and all that good stuff. But let's go ahead and get into it with uh, the, the first one. The enemies that you're going to want to be fighting, you know, th that you want to kill and get to join your team. Uh, you don't have to name it, but if you have scripts to get them to respawn or do something a certain way, you're going to want to go ahead and name it something you'll remember. But you're going to want to make sure it's on a team that players are not on. So a team two would work. Uh, all the players would be Team 1, Team 2, whatever. And if you have players on Team 2 and not Team 1, then you could do it that way or whatever. As long as it's not on the same team as the players. Um, and then your unit selection, just select whatever units you want all the way up to 8. But keep in mind, you'll have to use one spawn pad for each AI type that you're going to use in your map that you want to work this way. So if you do 8 completely different AIs, you'll need 8 completely different spawners on your side. But for now, I only set up four, a Jackal Freebooter, a Brute Miner, an Elite Enforcer, and a Yellow Grunt. Spawn Logic, I don't have them set to trigger by script, but uh, you can if you have that set up a certain way. Um, squad Label, it doesn't matter as long as you remember which one. I have AI already in my map that use Alpha and all that good stuff, so I just went ahead and used Zulu because I know none of them use that. So just make sure you remember because we're going to have to set up a Trinity. Um, I have them set to an active just so we can demonstrate this. You don't have to. Obviously, you're going to want them doing stuff. But there we go. That's all we got to do with that. So we come over here to our side. Let's say this is our spawn area, whatever. It's completely away from them and your map, I'm assuming. And what we're going to do is I went ahead and shrank it down to just one unit size. So that way they just spawn right here. What you're going to do is you're going to want to name it after, you know, the AI type that you want to spawn. So if you kill an elite enforcer... You're going to want to name it Elite Enforcer. I only have one Elite over there, and my F key on my keyboard has taken leave. It is gone, so I can't type F technically, so I'm just going to type Elite, so you know you know the drill. And you're going to want to make sure that the only unit spawning here is an Elite Enforcer, and make sure it shares your team. As for spawn logic, you want them triggered by script this time, and the squad label is different from the enemies. You can have all of them on your team share the same squad, as long as they do not share the same squad as your enemies. And there you go. Squad label Yankee, just because I know that it's not used by anybody else. Squad behaviors, don't have to mess with that. And that's done. So now all you need to do is duplicate this for each, since it has the settings we need, each AI type that you want to join your team when you kill them that exists on the enemy team. So I'm going to set these up and uh, change the names, change the units, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, there we go. We've got the Yellow Grunt, we've got a Brute Miner, we've got the Jackal, and we have our Elite. And that's all you gotta do for map setup. As long as you get your single spawner set up for each type on there, and, and everything that you want done, then we can head right into the node graph, bring these in, and move them over here, and we can start knocking this out. So the event we're gonna start with is an AI Events, or Events AI, an on an AI unit killed. We're going to start with the Trinity, though. I did put this down so that way I didn't have to get it later. But we're going to use uh, from the same tab on squad spawn with squad label so we can set up our Trinity. And if you've seen any of my tutorials, you know how this goes. Uh, I'll just glance over the information, but I'm going to go ahead and get these out here. Okay. So you're going to make sure the identifier pretty much matches your squad label here. I'm going to set it to Zulu because that's the ones that are the enemy. Uh, we wouldn't have to set up a Trinity normally for this, actually. I found out a way, but since they die, we have to. If they weren't, if it didn't involve them dying, we would not have to. But make sure your identifier on all three of them equals Zulu. Scope is local. And then we're good. We can set this back here. We'll be using it later. Now we continue where we left off with this. And from there, we are going to use uh, Death Context from the Death Context tab. Was character type. Go ahead and plug that in right here and plug death context into that. There we go. Uh, now we're going to go into logic compare. We'll set up all the nodes once we get them out here. Compare squads from the logic compare tab. And then go ahead and plug in squad A to the squad output of on AI unit killed. And then squad B is your Zulu that you have set up. We're going to need a Boolean logic from the logic tab. Go ahead and plug uh, our same character type in this in. Our same character type into operand A. 
and then operand b is your a equals b over here. Now we're going to talk about it a little bit. So the death context, we're going to find out what character that died. We're going to use this one for the yellow grunt. Grunt species. Uh, you're going to you're going to have to change that to something like you can't just leave it empty, unfortunately, or it will spit an error back at you. But the species does not matter. We're not going to be working with that. You can our same species, but we're not. We're going to use the exact same character type. So it goes more in depth because we're going to want to make sure we get that grunt. Then we're going to want to make sure that the AI that was killed was from the enemy squad and not our own, you know, or another one that we're not trying to mess with. So make sure that that's how we do that. So there we go. Now we're going to need a branch and that's right here in the same tab. Place it above the Boolean logic because it can connect right here. If you want a delay between when they spawn and when you kill them, you can add a wait for n seconds for however long, but I'm not going to do that because we don't need to. And then now we're going to get into the last node for this set. We'll actually be duplicating most of these three times, but go ahead and get a trigger AI spawner from your basic AI tab. And then go ahead and plug in the corresponding AI spawner into that. So there, that what this will do is it's going to check, okay, an AI just died. Was it a gr grunt yellow conscript? Yes. And was it from Zulu? Yes. Okay, we'll then trigger this one, which we'll put it over here on our team. Now we have to duplicate this three times for each other type we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate all these, get them set up and rearranged, and then we can go from there. Okay, so now we have them all out here. We're gonna to need to change the information of some of these. The, uh, the settings for your character type, you're gonna to wanna to change that to, of course, each one that uh, matches it. You don't have to change the species, so you don't gotta worry about that. So this one will be the Elite Enforcer, change it to Elite Enforcer, and then it will spawn the Elite. Uh, change this one to Brute Miner, and it will spawn the Brute Miner, and then so on. So make sure that you have the exact one. That, that's why you have separate uh, spawn platforms. That's why you have to make sure uh, it's each one is the right one. So Jackal Freebooter. Okay, now all we need to do is just plug everything in the way it's supposed to go. So you're gonna make sure that the get squad variable is plugged into squad B of each one of these, just like our step one. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this since uh, I did show you how to do all of this in step one. So that way we can get through this a lot quicker. Okay, so now we need to make sure that death context from each of the death context was character types are plugged into the same death context output and same for squad from it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that squad A on each of these and then you wanna make sure this is squad B on each of them. You're gonna to wanna to make sure all of them match the right spawners and plugged into trigger AI spawner. And the last thing we need to do is if false from our first branch, if it's not a grunt, it's gonna check, is it an elite? Is it a, is, if it's an elite, yes, it will spawn the elite. If it's not, it will say, is it a brute? If it's not, it's gonna check, is it a jackal? And then that's it. This will do what you want. This will get them to spawn. They won't do anything. We're gonna test it out. This will get them to spawn. They won't do anything. We have no teammates yet, but if we shoot a jackal. Oh, we now have a teammate. And it's the one we just killed. Kill that grunt. Oh, I missed. There we go. Uh, we now have a grunt as our teammate. Kill that elite, and here he is. And then last but not least, go ahead and take that grunt out. Our grunt, <laughs> brute, and he just dipped. He said, nah, I ain't no grunt, bro. And so we're good. There you go. You have a team that you gained from killing them over there. They come over here. They're yours to uh, command now. So there you go. That's how you get AI that you kill uh, to join you, the player's team. And like I said, in the intro, this is only for uh, single player slash uh, campaign, uh, firefight, uh, cooperative modes. It's not for PvP, as I don't have that set up yet. There is a way to do it. It's very simple. It's just this tutorial was mainly to just get them for your campaign and firefight maps. If you want PvP, I can do a video about that, and it's quite possible. It uses a very similar script, uh, but I'll get to that at another time. But there you go. And that's all it takes. Now you can yoink away their forces and build your own. 
you're essentially just being the flood if you think about it. But like I said, if you want a PvP version, I can work on that. I just gotta play catch up from the holiday, and I'll see what I can do about it soon. My newest ZHS, Death Mountain Climb, is complete. If you want to check that out, I worked pretty hard on this one, and it'll be uploaded in a couple of days. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more Halo content, I'll see you guys soon.